for me, the Clash were the most dangerous, aggressive, inventive group um, that I think I've ever seen, and they remain so to this day. The punk movement was that black and white, edgy, negative to the psychedelia of peace and love hippie movement. It wasn't just blind rage, there was thought and intellect behind this performance and these lyrics. With the Clash works in a very, very fast way. A lot of those songs would be written in half an hour, lyrics and music. It was the attitude, the conviction with which they were playing. That's the punk aspect of it, the do-it-yourself ethos. The, you know, get on your feet and do it. Stand up for yourself, do it. It was, it, you know, it was very forceful. It was changing society and that, that whole kind of... That whole vibration was in the air. They were a breath of fresh air in a very stagnant period. I knew what punk rock was. The moment it came along, it was made for me. I wanted that. I was a punk rocker up north, bored, bored, bored by uh, crappy hippie bands. And all I was listening to was reggae and soul music and feeling very isolated. And it was punk that made me realise there were people like me in every town around and loads of them in London. <laughs> Mick Jones told me that uh, when they first started playing, they weren't even they even thinking about getting a record contract. I mean, it was just out out of the question. They just wanted as three former art students would feel they wanted to look fantastic on stage. That was the first thing they wanted to be. So if you want me off your back Come out and let me know Should I stay or should I go